any picture and icon on a Mac. Uh, you can do this in Snow Leopard, uh, Leopard, and Lion. Uh, probably other, well, I tried it on Tiger before, sort of iffy. Um, so pretty much Leopard, Snow Leopard, and Lion. Well, first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a picture. So, you know, whatever. Um, whatever. Let's say I want to make, uh, want to make this picture an icon. That looks good. Okay. What you want, what you're going to want to do, is uh, get your picture, and select your name. Change the extension, which is normally dot JPG for JPEG or PNG or GIF for GIF. Um, but what you need to do is change it to dot ICNS. That stands for icons, I believe. Um, hit enter use .icns and you will see the icon change a bit then let me get something to change the icon of then to change the icon of something you want to open up your file using preview uh, click over here to get your little sidebar up in lion it's on the left in snow leopard and leopard it's on the right um, and sometimes the image is very small you have to hit this little arrow um, there's no, sometimes a little arrow over here that you have to hit um, anyways, uh, edit, copy, or command C. Go find what you want to change the icon of. Uh, select it, either control click to get info, or command I. Now, you select this icon, and you'll see it'll get highlighted. Then you edit, paste, or command V, and you can see it changes the icon of your folder. Now you can do this on any application in Lion. In Lion you can do it on any application. Um, in Snow Leopard and Leopard uh, sometimes it'll it'll um, it won't let you change the icon but I do know in Lion um, it, it'll, it'll ask for an admin username and password and if you put that in it'll change it. Like as you can see down here I have the App Store I changed, iTunes, my Beats, um, I show you, change it to this icon, iPhoto, Disk Utility, Installer. Um, I changed all these icons, and I made um, half of these icons myself um, by doing what you just saw. Um, so, yeah, there you go. And you can, oh, yeah, by the way, you can do this with any picture you want. Um, it's a lot better to do it with a picture that doesn't have a background. So, if you type in iPhone icon, You might find one that doesn't have a white background. See, this one has a white background when you drag it around. This one, as you can see, does not. It's just the icon itself. So you drag it to your desktop, do the same process. Uh, you can do this with any iPhoto picture, um, pretty much any image you want. So, um, yeah. All right, thanks for watching.